How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another video talking about the new Dragon Ball Fighters DLC characters, that being Base Goku and Base Vegeta. In today's video we're going to look at new high res images released by Bandai Namco, as well as talk about when these fighters are expected to release, and why I'm personally pretty worried about that. Again, before we start, I know a lot of people are very upset with these two, I know you guys want to see something more than Goku and Vegeta again, since we already have so many, but again, me personally, I'm actually super into them because they cover a time in the show that I really loved, and so far the mechanics for at least base Goku look super interesting. Base Vegeta I'm definitely more on the ropes about because they haven't showed anything unique with him. All we can hope is that base Vegeta's normals really differentiate him from his other two peers because he definitely has a lot of competition. Vegeta Blue has excellent mix-ups and Vegeta Super Saiyan is such a good character that I think if he doesn't do something to really set himself apart, he's going to fall to the wayside really quickly. But until we get some real gameplay footage of him, it's going to be hard to determine where exactly he falls in terms of being unique. For now though, let's go ahead and focus on looking at these new high res pictures because they definitely got me more excited for both of these characters. Let's go ahead and start with the picture that probably changed my opinion the most. So when I first saw that Galaxy Breaker was going to be Vegeta's level 3, I was definitely a little bit disappointed, you know, there were so many other options you could have gone for, maybe like a great ape thing, maybe that fake moon turns him into a great ape, you know, a lot of different ideas, but, and I think on my personal list, Galaxy Breaker definitely would not have been something I even thought of. It always seemed like just a throwaway thing he did to Nappa, but if we do get a dramatic finish with Nappa doing this, that'd be sick. Arxis, please. But now looking at this picture, I'm definitely a little more sold on the idea. I just look so amazing, those lines covering Vegeta down there, as well as the effect works with all the rocks going into the sky. I'm definitely going to be interested in knowing how this move is performed, uh, because in the show, he did throw Nappa up into the air, and it does resemble the heat dome attack a lot in this game. So I'm thinking that this is going to be another version of Trunks' level 3, which I saw a lot of people hoping that it wasn't going to be like that, but I'm not sure if there's another way they can really go. I mean, they could definitely just have him do that. The only reason I say that that might not be happening is because if you look at this picture down here, Vegeta already looks like he's looking up at something, uh, so he may have already thrown them into the air. So as far as this picture goes, not only did it convince me that Galaxy Breaker is a worthy level 3, it also gave us a better look at both of the characters faces and I have to say I especially love what they did with base Goku here you can definitely tell just by looking at his face that he comes from a different era than the other two characters something about his eyes and the way he's looking definitely sells the fact that he's a lot younger and from an earlier portion of the show and I have to say I'm a little sad that the Vegeta one doesn't really do that for me it kind of just looks like Super Saiyan Vegeta with black hair again so it really doesn't sell the effect that this is a Vegeta from a different era the next picture we're going to take a look at is Goku activating his Kaioken mode. Now, this is going to be something super interesting to see in gameplay. Obviously, the picture looks fantastic, but it does have me worried that maybe Kaioken is going to act like... This is obviously base form Kaioken, by the way, because, you know, Goku has all three of his teammates alive. We can see in the health bar. So this is what base Kaioken is going to be. And I'm really hoping that it's just a form or a, uh, a level up, almost like Gohan's level up. Because the way they worded it, it talked about using special button combinations. Hopefully that just means playing the game. Because I, was, I would definitely like to make up your own combos in Kaioken rather than just have a few button performances that you can click. Like for example, I definitely don't want this being like Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist. I would rather it just be a form you go into, if you know what I mean. But yeah, other than that, not too much to mention about this pick. It, it is just Kaioken base. I'm more interested in seeing what Kaioken times 20 and Kaioken times 3 do. Hopefully it like colors his skin red or something to really sell that dark red effect. That's definitely the thing I like most about the Kaioken form is when his body just goes dark red. So hopefully they can do a good job at selling that in the game. For the next picture I wanted to talk about Vegeta firing this Gallic gun. Uh, not too much to say about it honestly. You can see he's performing it in the air like we talked about in the scan. Uh, but the way they worded it in the scan was this move can also be done in the air. When this really looks like a move that is uh, you know has to be done in the air. So I'm interested in seeing if Vegeta can do this on the ground. Uh, the way they worded it makes it sound like he can, but does he also fire it down or does he fire it up? That's what I'm really interested in. Or does he just fire it horizontally? I think best case scenario for this, it's a lot like Super Saiyan Goku's Kamehameha, where he can just angle it whichever way he wants. If he's on the ground, he can fire it horizontally, or he can fire it up, and if he's in the air, he can fire it horizontally again, or down. Hopefully Galaga Gun plays out a lot like that. If not, it's just going to be a typical beam super. I don't see any reason why they would make it any different, uh, but the angle could definitely end up hurting it if on the ground he fires it into the floor. And now we can get into another aspect that makes Goku base form super exciting for me, that being the spirit bomb uh, you can see here they really really nailed the effect here really loved it now back when we were reading the scans we did talk about how they worded this as being an extremely strong attack but it takes forever to launch I did bring up the possibility that that could be flavor text and I'm really hoping it's not because I just I really like the idea of a move that takes a long time to fire off 
but it has extreme benefits. Something like Ginyu's Body Swap. You know, it's a very common way to balance things that are really strong, is making them super easy to block, dodge, or punish. And I would really love Spirit Bomb to be something like that. We talked about the possibility of maybe Goku charges it in the back and you bring out another character. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case, as when we look at the next picture when he actually throws it, you can see he's still in the air just tossing it, uh, and he's still the lead of his party. So it doesn't look like there's any interesting swap mechanics where he takes over. Overall, seeing these two pictures has definitely made me think that it's probably going to be just some flavor text. Maybe the Spirit Bomb does fall slower like Broly's level 3, but that's really not going to stop you from comboing into it pretty easily. Broly can still combo into his really slow level 3 without having really complicated setups, so I think Goku should be fine with this level 3. We are going to have to wait till we get some gameplay to really see how slow it is, uh, but from these pictures, I think it's probably just going to be another basic level 3. Now speaking of gameplay, that's where the rest of this video is really going to come into play because I'm wondering when we're going to see these characters shown off. You know there is going to be a stream on the 29th where they show off new information about the game, so we might get them there, hopefully we do, and then the characters are going to be released early August. Now depending on how early that is, this could create a pretty big problem because EVO 2018 is right around the corner taking place from August 3rd through August 5th. Now that might not sound like something too important in terms of uh, gameplay updates, but EVO 2018 is usually where fighting games reveal, you know, something really big. And so I'm just wondering what is Dragon Ball Fighters going to reveal there? Because if we don't have Vegito and Goku out by then, uh, are they just going to show gameplay for them at EVO? I think that would be super lame. Already this pair is super controversial, and I don't think showing them off on the big stage is going to make anybody appreciate them more. I think a big surprise would either be they announce Season 2, or they show off Cooler and Android 17. In fact, if I'm really being a hardcore skeptic, maybe that month they took off back then, then was trying to work on both sets of characters at once in order to get ready for Evo because again they do have to show off something big something that they haven't shown before last year before the game was out they showed trunks that's a really good move because he's a super fan favorite character and this year they're going to have to step up their game even more we have things like Soul Calibur 6 Street Fighter 5 and even maybe a new Mortal Kombat to compete with everything is going to be going super hard and I would hate to see Dragon Ball fighters get get pushed to the side just because they showed off something not so substantial. If you don't think showing off something cool at EVO is important, then you definitely did not see what happened when Abigail got revealed last year for Street Fighter V. He was not well received at all. I think over time the community has definitely grown to like him a little more, uh, but at the time a lot of people were really upset that that's what Capcom chose to reveal. Uh, so it can definitely have an effect on the community for at least a little while. But go ahead and let me know your thoughts on what they could possibly be revealing in EVO or when you think these guys are going to come out. Remember that stream is on the 29th, so that we are there is a good chance we are going to get footage of these two, but nothing has been confirmed yet. They're also going to be doing stuff for Xenoverse 2. If you're into that game and want to go ahead and take a look at that. But while you're down in the comments leaving me your thoughts on that, if you like this video and want to see more like it from the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.